How has it already been four years since the establishment of the ThinkBook brand? Time flies when you're having fun, and after warming up for a bit, now the brand is attracting more and more consumers with their stylish looks. The ThinkBook 14 Generation 4 comes for a fourth year in a row, this time bringing Alder Lake processors, with both the U-Series and P-Series. If you prefer some Zen 3 goodness, there are the Ryzen 5000 U-Series, which has decent performance and efficiency. Entirely made from aluminum and with a two-tone silver, gray finish, the ThinkBook 14 can hold its own with other business machines. It's durable and light at the same time, weighing 1.4 kilograms and having a profile of 17.9 millimeters. The aluminum delivers decent flex resistance, but due to the lighter weight, the lid still can't be opened with one hand. Surrounding the display, there are thin bezels with a 720p webcam on top, which can be upgraded to a full HD unit. The base itself has a shorter keyboard with no numpad, with the power button being separated while also including the fingerprint reader. The input-output of the ThinkBook keeps a lot of ports between the two sides. On the left, there's one USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 2 port, a Thunderbolt 4 port, an HDMI 2.0 port, one USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 port, and a 3.5mm audio jack. On the right, there's an SD card reader, one more USB Type-A port, and a LAN connector. The display selection of the ThinkBook 14 includes both TN and IPS panels, but we advise you to stick with IPS units, like the full HD version that we have now. It covers 53% of the sRGB color gamut, while the brightness maxes out at 330 nits, and the contrast ratio is high as well. There is a version with 100% sRGB coverage, but it has the same resolution and brightness, so do your research carefully before buying. Our design and gaming profile doesn't really help with the accuracy, however, you can still check out the rest of our profiles, which we have linked down below. The sound coming off of the bottom firing speaker setup is decent and has no major deviations from clarity. However, the max volume can be a bit higher. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. When it comes to performance, you can pick between the more efficient U-Series and the more powerful P-Series. We tested the very popular Core i5-1235U, which doesn't necessarily deliver top-notch scores when compared to competitors with the same CPU. The ThinkPad E14, once again from Lenovo, as well as the MSI Modern 14, deliver better performance in both Cinebench R23 and in Photoshop. When we stress test the laptop, we can easily see why that is, as even in the first few seconds, the chip only boosted to 33 watts and 2.55 gigahertz on the P cores. In long runs, like a video render, it maintains a 28 watts TDP, which is admirable. Lenovo really wanted to optimize the comfort, as the temperatures suggest that the Core Y5 can go for more. They succeed, as even under full load, the hotspot on the keyboard reached only 36 degrees Celsius, while the single fan won't bother you at all. Unfortunately, the more laid-back approach to cooling and power management doesn't lead to any improvements as far as battery life is concerned, as the laptop's 45 watt-hours battery pack only lasts for 5 hours and 33 minutes of web browsing, or 5 hours and 38 minutes of video playback. There's a 60 watt-hours version too, but we haven't tested it to say if it's that much better. Finally, the upgradability of the ThinkBook is better than we expected, as we thought we'd see soldered memory and no slots. While the former is still present, we also find one SODIMM slot, so you can get up to 40 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM in total. Storage-wise, you get two M2 slots for Generation 4 SSDs. You can check out how to upgrade the machine in our teardown video, which is linked below.
The Lenovo ThinkBook 14 Generation 4 is a fine business laptop, thanks to its wide port selection and good upgradability. The performance that comes out of it is decent, however. There are more powerful business devices out of it, if that's your main priority. The battery life is its main flaw, in our opinion, so keep that in mind. For the full ThinkBook experience, check out our written review that's linked down below.